All right, Wayne, so we're at a new spot. I don't see the car anywhere, man. I don't either, but we gonna figure it out, man. Figure it out. What would you do, what would you do in this situation? Call the customer? Yep, I'm just gonna simply just call him right now, and he's gonna let me know in the front of the, front of the house or in the back. This, hey, this is set up weird. Yeah. Usually this is in the front yard. <laughs> the garage, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, also, a customer left you messages? Yeah, he left me a message on my um my app. Come to the back, let me know when you're back there. Yes, sir. Do you know what the customer's gonna want? Yeah, we knocking out the express wash, interior, and an interior detail. How much is it? It's gonna be 250. Starting price, 250? Yes, sir, 250. All right, Wayne, I have a question for you, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So it's uh, kind of like a tight spot over here. Sometimes, do you have to find a way to maneuver your van and the customers where you're not blocking traffic as well true that's one of the reasons why my brother um has a problem with running the van himself because he's like i don't know how to drive these vans i can't see behind me and um sometimes they require us to move in certain ways that you got to have some type of driving ability to maneuver but um we just decided to do it from the garage we're just gonna leave it like this oh yeah it's just gonna work just like this no. he said he doesn't mind his garage getting wet so hey it's gonna work around work with what we got man all right so what's the first thing you're gonna do and just pretty much just set up everything so I don't have to run back and forth. So I'm gonna grab everything out that I need, and hopefully I don't have to come back to the van. Definitely gotta get my goodie bag, man. Thing in, in the van, in the car. Ah, I love these cars, especially when you don't feel like doing much. Today's my day before my break. And now this car is not dirty at all, bro. Mm, I know, it looks, looks clean. These are your favorite type of cars? Well, I do like the transformation cars, of course, to show your skills and what we can do. But when you're tired from a long week, it's rest right here, man. <laughs> People that want to know what I'm using, Finish Line Products, Orange Foam All Purpose Cleaner. Whatever you want to use it for, tires, rims, purpose cleaner for everything. Make it look nice? Yes, sir, and a good smell to it, man. I like to let this sit on the cup holders. I spray it ahead of time. And just hit up that whole part, let it sit. If it's bad, you ain't got to mix no bottles up, none of that. Just, it's ready to go. Let me ask you, you remember when we had to use a smoke bomb? Would it work for that or oh, the smell was too strong? If it's not too bad, it'll work good mm. for the smell. But for more severe smells like that was, bro, yeah, that needed to. So the reason why you want to fold your towels, I know it's very basic and simple, but there's a lot of people that don't know. If you fold it like this, bam, you use that side, got this side now, bam. Now you could take it out, fold it around, bam, now you got these two sides. So it's always good to fold your towel. I know you guys always see me doing that. So versus if you go like this, you're gonna use the whole towel. Look at that. You're gonna use the whole towel. So. Tactics, man. Use them. Another tactic. Another tip right here. Instead of running through so many towels, bam. Use the same two towels for the whole vehicle. I learned this from you too. Always wonder, like, why do I have to sit there and fold my towel every time? <laughs> Something you didn't notice before was this is a third row car. Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? You're gonna charge extra or are you gonna be like, eh, it wasn't that dirty, so. You know what? I'm already charging $270, $71, including tax. It's not that dirty, as y'all can see. So I'm going to just leave it how it is versus charging them an extra $100. I'm going to leave it how it is, man. Too easy, too easy. Courtesy, courtesy. Some other people out there probably be like, hey, get your money. You tripping. It's just the type of person I am. All right, Wayne. So you've been in this game for a cool minute. What are some things, some bad habits other detailers have? They, they have it sometimes or they don't really care about doing a good job i can't speak for them but i could see where i could cut corners and i'm pretty sure them guys out there that got the two star one stars these are the corners that they're cutting you know what i mean the car's not too dirty i'm just gonna get in and get out if you're not treating every car the same as a dirty car then you know what i mean i believe that people notice those things you know mm -hmm. they notice how long you take on their car they notice 
you only spend 30 minutes when normally it takes an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. You know what I mean? And if they ain't catching you then, some, somebody gonna catch you, man. They gonna catch you in them re reviews and they ain't gonna look too pretty. Um, Have you ever made an angry detailer? Like they, they detail angry, bro? They detail angry? Nah, everybody I've met so far, bro, it seems as if they, they really enjoy their job. There's a lot of young people out there that I know, like in their 20s and they're posting just as much as me. They're out there on the grind. So it looks like they love the job and they doing what they supposed to do. Another thing I noticed, maybe that a lot of detailers, they don't got that customer service down. They don't know how to talk to the to the customer, right. have a friendly conversation. I mean, I see them in the comments that people are talking about. They don't know how to talk to people. They rather just get there, get in and out. But uh, if, if you're not building a relationship, how are you really gonna lock them in? That's a big deal. Stepping outside of your, your work and, and asking them how their day is. It's just as simple as that. How, how's your day going? And, and show that you're interested in actually, you know, talking with them and not just saying, how's your day? And then just go to work. I mean, how's your day going? How you doing today? Doing good. Well, I hope your day gets better today. My day is going, you know, amazing. I'm a little tired right now. Bam, and just something that simple, you're engaging in, you know, a conversation and they're seeing that you're looking to build a relationship. So mm. just basic, basic, nothing, nothing too serious, you know? Yeah. And wherever the conversation leads from there. I'm gonna tell them, oh, you know, how's your day going? Oh, my day's going pretty good. You know, my girl just left me. My kids don't talk to me. Car got repossessed and my clothes got, eh, you know, start telling all your problems. Something like that. <laughs> no. I, hey, I, hey I've, ex I've experienced that, bro. People yeah. really do do that. And how you, how you conversate with people, they can sense on how much they can open up with you. So if somebody is pouring something like that into you, then you know they feel the sincerity of you wanting to get to know them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do that with me. Mm -hmm. And in situations like when that happened, I, I compare my, you know, I put my situations in there and not so much talk about them. Like, man, I went through a repossession too, man. Lesson learned and explain to them what you did to, you know, to better yourself. in a garage have you worked in a garage before this is my second time working in a garage out of the hundreds and hundreds of vehicles that I've done hey it's a blessing to be in here man <laughs> instead of heat yeah how did you go the first time oh it went great I think this is the, actually the same complex I think so mm. I think the lady I did her car was literally right down a couple houses down road now that I think about it and let me ask you you're not afraid that you're gonna get some stuff wet or the customer said he was cool with it? Yeah, he said he was cool and plus the electric pressure washer I got, it's, it, it ain't hitting that hard on power, so it ain't much I gotta worry about. Now you come here with this gas one, you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful, to be honest. Have you ever worked in the smallest space or is this the smallest? This is the smallest. I mean, working next to other vehicles um, in, in like apartment complexes, I've worked, you know, wetting other people's cars, so that would be the smallest. Be honest. Oh, have you ever wet somebody's car and then they come out and be like, hey, you're gonna <laughs> wet it, finish the job. So they never said that. It was awkward. They would just come out and say, excuse me, hop in their car, the car would be all wet, and they would just drive off like their car's not soaked. And I'll be looking like, if they say something, I'll probably be like, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll wash it real quick. The type of person I am. They're blocking the way, like you didn't want to do, huh? Right. And this is a short alley or whatever it is. Man. Is it a street? 
think they counted it as a street. He's got his own name and everything, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's different between my car and my wife's. My wife's car. Yeah. I probably just said something you with her too, but okay. I can't handle a dirty car. I I, I know. I can tell. Even my son, man, he's seven, he leaves up in here and I'll be in here cleaning up after him. So no, it looks really good, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, no problem. You've got other services before? Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't had mobile detailing done since I moved to California. No. But I typically take it to whatever, that, yeah, it's that big place right here at the corner up here. It's next to the in and out oh, the, right, quick, I, the quick spot where you drive Yeah, through. I think so, yeah. And they, I mean, they do an okay job, but it's like, you know, dude, you, when you got a business like yours, you guys are, uh, be more detail oriented. So, if you see anything? Like, let me know. I don't no, care. No, what so it far, is. no, it looks, it looks amazing, man. I really right. appreciate it. But All still, right. for you to have a kid, man, you still do good. Yeah. Well, like <laughs> I say, you look at my wife's car, mine. But I think I'm gonna set something up um, with, with you, uh, with her car, probably maybe next weekend if you guys have any openings. Okay, I'll be so ready. What, uh, what do I owe you? What's the damage? It's two seventy one. Okay. Did you want to do debit or? Uh, yeah, I don't think I have that much cash on me. So yeah, let's do uh, debit, credit, whatever. Right. Whatever's easy for you, so you can. Uh, Okay, I'll grab that and for actually, you. let's make it even 300. I'll throw, throw a tip on there, so. Appreciate you. All right, Wayne, so you're working over here, second time working in a garage. You mentioned to me, this is kind of motivating you to get a shop? Yeah, man, I visualized, I got the vision. And I just visualized myself working in the shop as I was working in this garage. And it just made me realize, I know the mobile detailing is convenient. I'm gonna speak life into me finding a team to keep the detailing van running. My brother, he's solid. I just need one more solid person to run. Actually, I got two vans. I'm talking about one van. I got two vans I got to fill. But I'm going to get in that shop, man, where I'm comfortable. I know that I do good enough work to where people will come to the shop and it's going to be filled, you guys. I see the vision. I'm going to execute it. Come on. So let me ask you, how are you going to balance that? Your customers, the shop and the mobile. Are you only going to try focusing more on the shop? Are you going to try doing both? I'm going to try to do both. I'm just not going to grow anymore on the vans. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a solid person. I want to find a, somebody that can manage it for me, manage the vans, and even find somebody to manage the shop, a person that's going to send out photos and do the marketing. I want to find somebody that's an all-around person that I could pay really good. And all I need to do is come in, chill there for a little bit, make sure everything's ran right, check in with everybody, you know what I mean? Make sure things is running smooth and detail a couple cars every now and then because I enjoy doing this and uh, just see things run smooth, and that's the goal. Most of all, being able to spend time with my family, being able to spend a lot more time with God, most of all. Did you guys visualize that vision? That's what you gotta do. You gotta visualize it, not only visualize it, execute it. You know, speak it, and then move, you know what I mean? You're doing all this talking, gotta do a lot more of this, you know what I mean? So if you guys are along with me on this journey, and you're excited and you started your journey, let's grow together, let's learn together, drop some comments, Drop some ideas. Let's go. What you waiting on? Let's go. But uh, y'all know what to do with it. We out.